Okay, next I think that's enough. Uh, we will go through on how we can implement linkless, single linkless using a C++ language. So firstly, we need to define data structure. This is very important because as we have discussed, we have element, we have list, right? So for the element, we have the uh, data that we want to store. So this is how to create a structure that we have introduced from the previous uh, lecture already. We have keyword struct and we have the name of element. So I just put name element or you can just put it node is okay because we have the two term referring to element. So we have the data that we want. If you have more data, you can just create variable there. And this is is required. This is the pointer. And the pointer here, the data type is must be the same to element. It's because that it is used to point to make connection from one element to another, right? So in order to point to another element, the its type must be the same. So as you can see here, the line strike here. This is just give you on how to uh, rename the structure because when we use the uh, structure in C programming, you must provide the type that here. You just need to type struct element when you want to create new element. So in C++, it's not required anymore. You can just uh, uh, delete it. So in here, just uh, strike it out because we are using C++. We don't need this anymore. And next thing, we need to create a list. So inside the list, we need to know how many number of the list, what is the head and what is the tail. Head and tail here is it's that a type R element because uh, the first element is the head. The last element is the tail of the list, right? So inside the list, uh, we will uh, keep incrementing elements, adding more and more, make connection from one to another. That's how we can implement it in the operation of the list. So this is the part that we create that structure. And next, we can uh, uh, take a look on how we can create an empty list. So firstly, before we uh, add more elements to the list, we need to create the list first. As we uh, create a variable, for example, you want to store, you want to store some things in an array. You must create an array first, right? So in here, you, we, at first we define that structure in the previous line, and next we create the list. Okay. So uh, in the program, we need sometimes we need to uh, create many lists, right? So in here, we just create it as a function. So and how we can create the list is uh, we can use the this symbol list and then star list here is a pointer and then we need to reserve a memory uh, to the list this at first the memory is not uh, stored much because it's contain only head and tail right head is nil because there's no element for the pointer the value that the pointer point to normally it is nil if it does not point to any variable and for the value of n here, we already know that it store the uh, size of for used to indicate the size of the list, right? So at first, when we create an empty list, the size is zero, so we set it to zero. So these kind of uh, uh, statement we are used to uh, set the initialize uh, value of each uh, uh, data member in the list n head and tail. And just to remark you here that when we use pointer, normally we use this symbol. Okay? Dash and this symbol. We don't use dot anymore. As we can uh, learn already or uh, from the structure lecture, right? In order to access to the data member of the structure, we need to use dot. Back. But in case that the structure is created as pointer here, something like this, you must using this uh, symbol. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, that is not much information on how to create an empty list. We just follow by step, create variable list. This uh, memory allocation, and next uh, we set some certain uh, the initialize uh, value to the variable n head and tail. Okay, next we will see on how we can uh, insert uh, element to the list. So in order to add element to the list, uh, it depends on our operation whether we add element to begin of the list or to end of the list. Example that. At first, we don't have any uh, data in the list, right? Head and tail are nil. And then when we create uh, one element and then we put it, we just mapping the, the head. For example, this one become now head. This is also become tail because there is only one element in the list. 
So and how we can add element to the list? We can follow these uh, steps. Firstly, we can add a new element. Let's say we have a new element here. I have uh, name it E, for example. In data, we can uh, put information, uh, whatever we want, right, inside this. What we do next is to make connection. Okay. Make connection from this to the existing list. So we make connection that E, make E point to head of the list. Because we know that E is uh, also have a pointer, right? So it make connection to head. Where is head? Head is here, right? So it make connection to head here. So if we take a look on this picture, there is a new element E adding to this list, simple list. Head is here before. So if we consider on this, uh, now we have one element in front, right? So it means that we must update the variable head here to become E, okay? So we need to update uh, head. So head now is become here, okay? Head point to E. Head is not here anymore because one element is adding into beginning of the list. And then we need to update tail if necessary because sometimes when uh, there is no element in the list, for example in this case, we must update tail also, right? The first element adding here become also head and tail the list. And finally, we just increment the middle value of ends by one because we add one element into the list. So take a look on this. I give you uh, the idea and how to implement that. So uh, as you can see in this function, we create a function called insert begin. This function does not return anything, it will uh, insert data into the list, but it takes two required parameters. First one is list, the second one is the data that we want to store. Let's say it is an integer, new data. So first thing first, we need to create a box here, right? Suppose that we have a list, ls already, and then we create a box representing the data element. Okay? So to create element, we use the element uh, uh, syntax, right? The structure that we create is element. And then we create it using pointer, as you can see in this uh, three code. First, we create E, and then we use the memory allocation. It will have a box for us. Okay, it has box for us. This is E. E has the address. And then you say E data is equal to new data type. It means that we pass value of new data into this E box. Okay, so new data here will become if I suppose that we add number five. So number 4 or 5 will come into this box. Okay. And next, we already created data box here. We It's time to make connection, right? It's time to make connection. So as you can see here, the, in order to make connection, we need to access to the pointer, right? So pointer is inside the element structure. So we can access it via E and then use this symbol. Then when we define the structure, we call it next, right? So E next here, E, e next. We want it to uh, uh, make connection to the head, right? As we can uh, see in here. So when we make connection to the head, we just say equal to head here. Because head is inside the list ls. When we create such a list, it has head and tail, right? So we say that e next equal to ls head. It will make connection from e to head here. And then we say uh, that head now become e, okay? So head now become e. ls head equal to e. So it means that head now is moved here. It's not here anymore. Okay. This is the way how it's installed. And lastly, we need to also check the, the tail. In case that the tail, uh, sometimes we need to update the tail, right? Suppose that before we add the element to list, the list is empty. So it means that we need to update the tail. The new element adding to the list now, it becomes the head. It also becomes the tail of the list because we add new element. However, if the size is not zero, it's one element or two element. If we add one element to the list, tail is no, no need to update, right? It still be there because it is at the end of the list. And lastly, we just add one more element, access to n from list, and keep increment it by plusing one. Okay. That's it, how we insert element. We'll see you more in coding part. Mm -hmm. And how about how to access data in the list? We can uh, use another function and you can start it from the head of the list. Okay? So suppose that we have a new element and then we go to the first element of the list which is called to head, right? ls head. So we just have a parameter called list. And next we can uh, loop it because we know that the last element is uh, of the list. It 
point to nil because it's no more connection to another element, right? Last element on the list point to nil. So our condition is that we will loop from the head until it reach the end, which is nil, right? And every time we can uh, display the information and then we keep moving, okay? So in here is very important. TMP equal to TMP next. It means that we keep our variable moving from one element to another. Each time the loop run, our TMP variable go through each element from head and then go to next, 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 so on and so forth until it reach the last element. This is how it works. Okay, next, uh, one we define the functions so far, we have created the structure, we create the function and how to add data to beginning of the list, we create a function now to display the list, so it's time to test our main program, right? So in the main program, it's very simple, you can create a main program here, either you have integer return or not, it's okay, and you create a list first, so here you create an empty list. In the previous uh, slide that we have uh, discuss if we create function right so now it's time to call them so firstly we create an empty list and next we can call two function insert begin right insert begin is uh, void function or return any value but we need to pass certain uh, variable right first one is list second one is new data when we create a function so now we add three uh, data into the list first we add three and next we add two Next, we add 5, right? Add to begin. So it becomes like this. A three of box. A three of box here that we obtain. So 3 comes first, then 2, and then 5, right? This is the connection from one to another. And when we want to get the, out, the result of the list, we can just call to the function display. So the here, we just display it three times, and finally, we display the size of the list. Okay? So we, we obtain from uh, this kind of main program, we obtain this, right? So for the first display, we get 5, 2, 3, okay, that's right. Because 3 is adding to the element, for element uh, to the list first. And next, number 2 is adding to the element. So we got 2 in front of 3. And next, we add number 5 to begin on the list. So 5 now is in front of number 2, that's correct. We call it 3 times, and finally, what is the size of the list? Currently, there are three elements, right? So there are three elements in the list. We can just put it three here. So I think that is uh, the, the introduction part as well as how we can implement a single linked list. We actually can create more functions like uh, add data to end of the list, delete element from list, or search data inside the list. But we can uh, focus on it in the next few videos. So uh, just to uh, call you back here, uh, we have uh, the process and we can create the data structure, right? And the type data structure here is not needed because we use C++. First, we create uh, two data structure. The first one is element representing the box data. It has data and it has pointer, right? This is representing the box. And we have to create the structure list, which representing the whole thing, okay? It has head and tail of the list. And next, we create the function to create the list. So when we create list, uh, we make that the list is empty. The uh, list is uh, head is equal to nil, tail is equal to nil because there's no data in the list yet, right? So it's just kind of uh, something that we need to uh, set initial initial value to the list here. We use a memory allocation, and then it will keep. Uh, dynamically update when we add more data into the list okay and we have the function insert in order that we can insert data into the list so in this uh, function we just insert to begin of the list at in front okay so when we add in front it means that the value head must be updated as long as there are new element adding to the list that new elements becoming the head of the list so we need to update head but sometimes we also need to update tail in case that there are no data in the list. So the first element adding to list, it becomes the head and also the tail. So we create the, uh, the box first and next we updating, uh, we make connection from this new box element into the current head of the list. Okay. So we say the call here, it means that it will make connection. Okay. So suppose that we have the box here, which is A, we create new element, we put data inside. 
and this is a current list okay current list we have let's say we have three box three box connection here representing the list and the first one is hat element first element last one is tail of the list right so if we want to make connection it means that we make e next equal to hat here right it will make connection from this box to another box and like lastly we just move the head head now is become e e is a uh, head is not here anymore okay so head now is become here because new element is adding right okay so uh, from this function we can see this and we uh, update the tail if needed when n is zero we need to update the tail to e as well and finally we increment the value of n and to display the program we must uh, access it from the, the head of the list we access it from uh, head and then from head we will go through head until the end of the list by using the while loop condition is uh, not equal to nil because as long as that we run the pro the, the loop again and again variable tmp keep moving next next and ne next and next and so on okay and to uh, test the program we just create a main uh, function we create uh, empty list we call to the function when we want to add to list and we display it if you want to see the data inside list and if you want to see what is the current side of the list we can just display this value which is success we have variable n here okay because we declare the structure here is n so I think this uh, function are uh, very uh, basic and give you many important insight uh, about linked list. And if we see more uh, function, for example, insert data into end of the list, search data inside of the list, delete information from the list, we can do that as well. Or sometimes we, we call the function destroy list, we delete everything inside the list. Okay, so I think uh, that's it for this video lecture. Uh, next, we will go to the code block and implement this uh, one more time just to repeating what we have uh, done. Okay, so go to code block.